welcome back on this Tuesday morning. So for today, we can expect a little light rain and snow mixture across the UP. We'll create a few slick spots out there, but nothing major. Tomorrow will be a cloudy and a mild day across the UP and even across the Great Lakes. By the end of the week, we're looking at some blustery conditions and some very light lake effect snow. Not much for accumulations. We'll make for just a few slick spots out there. Here's what's happening right now. We have two disturbances. There's that strong area of low pressure in Illinois that's bringing in some rain as far south as the Gulf states. And this rain's also encompassing a good portion of the lower peninsula this morning with some snow mixture, even through portions of southern Wisconsin. So this area of low pressure will continue to track north and northeast, and that rain will continue to spread across the eastern half of the country. We will be impacted by this cold front that's just west of that. And that cold front will bring in some very light rain and snow mixture today. That'll make for just a few slick spots out there. Our satellite and radar loop picking up on some of this moisture. Most of this not really reaching the ground except for the eastern areas of the UP in the way of some very light snow. And here's a look at your hour by hour for today. A lot of that moisture will still bring in some light snow across the eastern areas of the UP as a lot of that rain and snow continues in the northern lower throughout the morning. This is midday. As we head towards the afternoon, that frontal boundary starts to move in. And so you can expect just some light scattered rain and snow mixed showers. This is 7 p.m. this evening. By tomorrow morning, it's done. Across the entire region, plan on some mostly cloudy skies and some dry weather tomorrow. This is 8.30 tomorrow morning. And you can see here, staying dry for the bulk of the day. As we head towards tomorrow night into Thursday, another weak front passes through and it'll bring in some colder air and it'll allow just very light lake effect snow to form right near Lake Superior. This is 830 Thursday morning. Very, very, very light near the shoreline of Lake Superior on Thanksgiving. And then as we head towards Black Friday as well. So all in all, traveling Thanksgiving and on Black Friday should be okay other than the fact that it's going to be colder and a little bit of blustery at times. Temperatures today into the lower 40s for our daytime highs, so staying above normal as we're supposed to be right around 35 for this time of year. As we look towards tomorrow, still a little bit above normal into the low 40s, and here comes that colder air for Thanksgiving. So we're looking at 20s on the west end and a few lower 30s right along Lake Michigan and some similar conditions for Black Friday. We're expecting more in the way of more widespread 20s on Friday. Saturday, traveling. It looks good across the region as we continue dry. It'll be a cloudy one, though, across the Great Lakes into the 30s, and then on Sunday, there's a weak front that'll bring in some very, very light snow that starts in Wisconsin through the UP and areas downstate by Sunday night into Sunday evening. And then some lingering light lake effect snow expected next Monday. Along our northwest wind belts, this will mainly just impact areas near Lake Superior. Now, a lot of you probably asking, it's been the talk for quite a while, what is going on with the weather this year? No snow. Well, if you'd like to find out what to expect for this upcoming winter, check out our special, our winter weather special. It is live right now on UpperMichiganSource.com and on TV3. 